everyone, and welcome back to another Dying Light 2 video. And today, I... Let's see exactly where I am. I... Ah, yes, I need to talk to Jackman. Yes, I, I ended off and I was inside the Peacekeeper's uh, base. That's right. That's right. Yeah, a lot happened last video, and I kind of forgot everything that happened. Because there was just so much of it. I mean, last video was almost 40 minutes, which is really long compared to my normal videos. Move along, citizen. Yeah, I thought I went in a circle. So I guess that's my safe zone whenever uh, I am here. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. <coughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then... They passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Ah. Uh. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. Jeez. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist <laughs> more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part, but what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get walls for you. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. 
I want to make sure the city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me, sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? You know, that's the way that I react whenever somebody's like, you know, you don't have to call me sir or ma'am. It's like, okay. Cool. Go make yourself useful. Yeah, I will by talking to you. Matt told me to see you. This. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? What did those survivors at the entrance want from you? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. No one knows why the Butcher sent renegades to attack. Until we find out, we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. But wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Now. She did mention that it makes her angry whenever people talk about her father. So I'm not going to do that, even though I love to go through all the dialogue choices for you guys. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be. If Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? Why is it that really gonna win it war? seems like when an objective is very straightforward in this game, it just... It's like, hey, you gotta do this other thing here. I just, I just think that... That's just lazy game padding, but 
about half the time, it's worthwhile, and about the other half, it makes me go, why did that have to be in there? But, I don't know, that's just me. I, uh, just want my games to be fun, and all of... There's quite a bit in this game that just feels like filler content, and, uh, it just, it just doesn't feel like it could be as fun as it could be. This is the definition of, or this is the, uh, classic case of basically a teacher saying, Hey, your, your essay has to be 400 words. And then, or a minimum of a 400 words. And then a student having a terrific essay in 300 to 350 words. But because they're about 50 words off, they uh, need to have some filler. And so it doesn't make it as good at that point. And that's kind of what I'm starting to feel like with this game, where it's like, oh, we can do this. Oh, but we need to do this other thing, too, where it's like, really? Really? Yeah, there's plenty of times where I think I'm going to get something done in the same video after I get assigned, and then I'm like, and then they're like, oh, but this other thing. It's like, nope, nope, there's no hope anymore. It's like, well, it's probably going to be next video or the video after, because... Filler content! Yay! UV flashlight. You have received a UV flashlight. It allows you to repel and weaken all infected, especially virals and volatiles. Yeah, volatiles. To use the UV flashlight, equip it with one, and then hold mouse wheel to use it. Keep an eye on the flashlight's power. When it reaches zero, you will have to wait for it to recharge. Keep infected within the UV light cone until they fall to the ground. This makes them vulnerable for a few seconds. Use that opportunity to attack. There's been times where I've sh shined my flashlight at them, hoping that that would do the same thing. I need to... no. One. Mouse week, come on. Gosh darn it. I'm messing with everything except for the flashlight. Gosh darn it. Alright, come on. Come on, mouse. There we go. There we go. Yesterday, my youngest said, When I grow up, I want to fit the winter gates too. Not work on the boat like you and daddy. Did I just drop it? Oh, good, no. I, I think I unequipped it somehow, though.
for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. So she knows what she doesn't want to say. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Hey, Dan. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Now, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Oh, boy. I don't like the sound of that. Leave now. These sketchy types are usually caught by the guards at the entrance. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to talk to Meyer or Jack uh, before I left. Because then I would really say, filler content! And uh, not be happy. I wasn't lagging at any point in the city, but now that I'm out of the city... Yeah, I guess there's not as much to load in the city. Which, I, I think I made the comment that that reminds me of... Uh, the city in the boat reminds me of Rivet City from uh, Fallout 3. Alright, I tried to... Oh... in a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Ah! That, what? Oh my god! I thought they all died. Oh my god. I thought they all died. But no, they just come back as infected. I thought, oh, that was a cool magic trick. No, they just came back as infected. 
Not a cool magic trick, but that was still funny to see how I turn around and boom chemicals and they were all in them uh, that, that was hilarious like ta-da magic trick Hmm. Betty sneaked away. Ah. There we go. Now I can equip the medicine. That was certainly cool. And this axe! This axe is pretty cool. This axe is pretty cool, I must say. But you are going to stay away! And not touch me. That's where that one was. Okay. Uh, oh, I found a med kit. I don't need to use it. Nice to know that I have it though, but I don't need it. Wow, I can't believe this video is already 22 minutes long. Definitely need to use the health that I have. Don't don't run up on me, no, stop it. Oh. I need to use it on the big one. This Oh, it's a broken shovel. I thought it was a spear. What? Thank you for the assist. Because I got slammed down. Thank you. Thank you. Could that be? Found myself staring at a lot of nothing. I know that they were acting in their own interests, and that they weren't trying to help me, but it's still... still good. To get an assist sometimes. I couldn't save him in time. Alright, this video is 25 minutes, but I'm gonna try to get very close to the location. I'm gonna try. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'm gonna try. Okay, it's one of these. It's silent. And 
deadly. There's another one. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm dead. Take that one out quickly. That one's dead. Take out that one. Alright. I'm gonna search these bodies and then spend that skill point and then call it a video. Search this stuff. Go to the ground. Go to the I asked you politely, but you didn't oblige. I asked you politely, but you said no. I asked you politely, but you said no. So I had to take you out that way. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, time to spend the skill point. When blocking, charge an enemy in front of you and knock them to the ground. Sure. Yep. Absolutely. And see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for this Dying Light 2 video. And till next Dying Light 2 video, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.